to the back I'm of that gonna, window seat. Right. I'm going to use that to segue into right. something else, okay? <laughs> so, this is something that came up with over the week, all right? When we're talking about the Hornets, we're talking about the Panthers. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come up with a question every week, okay? okay. So, I'm going to say something. I'm going to make a statement and in regards to the Carolina Panthers, and I just want you guys to go, okay? okay. In regards to expectations from college <clears throat> to pro and what he has done since coming to the pros, would you say that Christian McCaffrey is everything that we expected Reggie Bush to be? Yes. No. Only because we expected Reggie Bush to be the next coming to God. Like, I I only say that because Reggie Bush was put on a pedestal I've never seen before. Which, at the time, I can't really fault anybody for doing that. Mm -hmm. Because I saw Reggie Bush in college <laughs> and he was... I've never seen anything like that. You get what I'm saying? So, just slightly no, only because of what people... How people were elevating Reggie Bush. That's the only reason I say that. I say yes. I expected Reggie Bush to to lead the league in, in, in rushing yards and <laughs> be a, a thousand thousand guy and everything like that. And Christian is on pace to do that. Yeah. Christian to me is the MVP of the league. Like I expected all this from Reggie Bush. I mean, but even in college, Reggie shared the load with Lindell. Yeah. And, and, and Christian was the all purpose everything. Yeah. Like he's in the NFL now. I just saw Reggie Bush do things. I didn't see Christian. Hey, man, I, look, I see Christian Bush do things, too, man. Now, I, like I've Bush. Seen, I saw I, Reggie Bush do things in college that I didn't see CMC do. When I've seen CMC do things in the NFL, the and I ain't never seen that again. Right, 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 right. So, because when I, when I think of Christian McCaffrey, I actually think of that front flip into the end zone that he did three weeks ago. Yeah. When I think of Reggie Bush, I think of him getting tattooed two yards behind the line of scrimmage when he made his first NFL catch in the league. That is my forever <laughs> image of Reggie Bush. Like, welcome to the NFL, Ricky. So It's important to note that Reggie Bush played with, I don't know how many all Americans on that team, you get what I'm saying, and McCaffrey didn't have nearly the kind of talent he had. In the <laughs> Did McCaffrey play with luck a little bit? Oh, yeah, so. maybe. I don't know. Um, I think he did. A year. I think a year. No, 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 no. no. The years don't add up. The years don't add up because luck came in uh, one year after camp. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, yeah. Cool. So, so the numbers won't add up. Gotcha, so, gotcha, gotcha. But, um, hey, y'all, we're going to take a break real quick, and then we'll be right back, all right? All right. And we're back, y'all. So we're going to get into our uh, next section, talking about the uh, 10th pick with our lovable not so often losing Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. So, 